The head of Sandals Resorts, Adam Stewart, is reportedly delaying multi-million dollar inheritances for seven beneficiaries, allegedly waiting for them to pass away, according to a source. Billionaire Gordon Butch Stewart, who died of cancer in January 2021, left between $2.5 million to $20 million each for nine individuals, including trusted Sandals staffers. Two of the beneficiaries, Stewart's first wife Erica Hamilton and longtime employee Roger Sievright, have since passed away. However, Adam Stewart, executive chairman of Sandals Resorts International and son of the late billionaire, has delayed the payments, claiming he is waiting for the others to die, the source said. A long-standing family feud between Jamaican and U.S. families will play out in a Bahamian courtroom over the $4.5 billion Caribbean beach resort chain. Stewart's will, dated May 15, 2020, named nine individuals, including his widow, Cheryl Hammersmith Stewart, and their children. Adam is challenging the legitimacy of Hammersmith Stewart's claims, and only five of the beneficiaries have received their full payments. The remaining seven were set to receive the second half of their inheritances on April 17, but instead received emails stating the payments should be made no later than April 24, 2025. Many of the surviving beneficiaries are elderly, including Stewart's 82-year-old sister, Pat Horlock, who was diagnosed with dementia. Who doesn't look after their aunt, the source questioned. Adam certainly wants to delay those payments or avoid payment altogether, the source added, noting that many of the seven surviving beneficiaries have openly supported Hammersmith Stewart's legal claims. Adam, who owns multiple Jamaican homes and a private jet, is reportedly bitter about his mother being left out of his father's will, which has fueled his vindictiveness, according to sources. Hammersmith Stewart has sued one of the trusts established to distribute Stewart's assets, and Adam sits on the advisory board of that trust. A win for Hammersmith Stewart in court would prevent Adam from shaping the company's future, according to the Jamaica Gleaner. An attorney representing one of the non-familial beneficiaries is preparing to sue Adam over the delayed payments. Adam and his attorneys did not respond to requests for comment, and a court date for the Bahamian case has not been scheduled yet.